Let us get it started though. We're starting the week off with some arms and shoulders. Chest on Saturday, back yesterday. Arms and shoulders. And then we gotta figure out what we're playing today. The Baldur's Gate could be fun. Uh, we talked about playing a little bit of EDO even. Although I do need to yell Diablo and manage my dang inventory. <laughs> We're doing two. So we're doing the California Muscle Mania Championship. Um, primarily competing in uh, classic physique. I might do normal physique too, but because that's a show that's a pro qualifier, I don't know if I, as a pro qualified physique athlete, can compete in that one. But I'm not pro qualified in classic physique. So that would be cool to do a new, a new category, win that show, and earn my right to compete as a pro in the world championship in classic and normal physique. That'd be fun. Yeah. Should be fun, man. Should be fun. Start bringing down your food slowly and you won't lose a ton of strength real fast or anything. Okay, go and bring down your calories a little bit, get the deficit. Pretty easy. Pretty simple at least. But you gotta be okay with losing some some strength during your fat loss phase. It's just part of the deal. But again, if you don't bring your calories down super, super aggressively, you're not gonna lose a ton of strength throughout the top end or anything. I don't know the most difficult workout of the week, oh really? It's still not the most challenging, but sometimes it can be harder to like really dig into the workout because there's not like a big compound movement. For bodybuilding purposes, you want to have the most muscle that you can have with the you know least body fat you can have and then pose well. You know, lower some capacity, yeah. I can I can eat a lot, but definitely um, eating less, you kind of get used to that too. I feel like my legs could be a strong suit for my physique. They get a little um, smaller just because we, uh, I do like a couple hours of walking every night so they get kind of depleted from their glycogen, but um, I, yeah, I'm hoping that they've been doing their thing and tightening up. There, there definitely is some cool stuff going on with my legs. I'm not, I'm not hating that. Keep doing no thing, you know? that big old hamstring hang down there. Pretty meaty legs. I think in general, I just prefer moderate weight, moderate reps. This feels the best to me, and I, and I feel like as long as you're working hard, you're good to go pretty much. And I think that helps me kind of stay healthy when I can be a little bit depleted. Trying to get warmed up at the moment. Ugh. Trying to get us going for the day. We do have some shoulders and arms on the menu today. Very important muscle groups for us. My arms and shoulders are, I wouldn't say a strong element of my physique, but we do want to try to preserve what we got. And for me, historically, my arms and shoulders kind of shrink away a little bit when we're dieting. Um, so far, they're hanging in there a little bit more than they have in the past, so that's good. I want to keep it that way. But it's going to require us to put in some work, so here we are. Those little teeny tiny stringy shoulders, but there's potentially some cool stuff going on in there. It's just got to keep showing them love. If you jog a mile and do your workouts, okay, that's not like a big cardio session. If I would say if you're gonna do more extended cardio than after your workout, but doing a mile to warm up is for your workout's fine if you like it. But yeah, I, I would do like your main lifting post-workout rather than pre-workout. Or sorry, your main, yeah, your main cardio. Man. Yeah, sleep is more like six and a half to seven hours. Yeah. But seven hours of sleep is good. Yeah, it's hard to get closer to six hours. That's no good. That starts to sting. So I'm gonna see what happens when I, when I curl the 30s instead. 35s didn't feel bad. I think I should just keep doing those. I'll just bump it up a little bit. Do 35 for, for like, you know, 20. Yeah, working out with the buddy's fun, but. Again, you know, it requires a little setup and sometimes you just gotta get in here and get it done, you know? Let's, yeah, let's let's do five and let's call it there. Let's do more later or other things if we want to. We can come back for more presses later or we can do some lighter presses in between just for problem, we'll see. If, if we knock everything out and we wanna do more later, then that's fine too. But for creatine or whey, you should be taking, you can take both, but if you wanna, if you wanna bulk, it's not about creatine or whey. Creatine is something you should take all the time. Whey is just a nice source of digestible protein. If you're trying to gain muscle, you need to make sure you're eating a surplus of calories. Exclamation mark bulk in the chat. Type that real quick and learn how to track your calories and get your calories up. 
But creatine and whey you can use whether you're dieting or bulking. Supplements don't really work that way. Your supplementation doesn't really change whether you're trying to bulk or lean out. They can just stay the same. But yeah, get the recharge creatine and then the whey plus from Legion. Best in the business. It's normally an Uber store for almost a week. We haven't worked out in ages. Yeah. Yeah. That's the iron price. Yep, the iron price. If you haven't sacrificed your body to the get the gods of gains in a while, they're gonna demand a hefty chunk. You're gonna be okay, but yeah, super normal. Super normal to be sore. No cut programs? So I do all my training live on stream. And then I upload the highlights to my exclamation mark gains channel. Then nowadays, since we use the RP Strength Hypertrophy Training app, you can see all my working sets that I track at least. So there's that. And furthermore, uh, my sponsor Legion, I believe, does sell training plans on the website. And then the RP, the RP Strength app can help you track those workouts or even give you some suggestions and stuff too. So there's also just immense amounts of free information, like I said, for me and other people about training plans and stuff. By the way, shout out to my sponsor Legion. Pulse pre workout, a little half scoop during the workout's very nice. Very nice. We love the half scooper. The intra workout half scooper. How many calories am I consuming in? Uh, this week it'll be 24 to 2500. I'm gonna try that. It's still pretty high carb, but I'm a little bit ahead of schedule and a little more carbs hopefully will help the training stay strong. I'm not, I'm not in the pit of suffering just yet. Oh, you're just trying to get all near. Good, yeah, that'll happen. Yeah, diet and Diet and uh, training, yeah, yep. I feel you, Mel, there's so much BS out there. I try not to contribute to it. I don't know everything. That's for damn sure, but I mean, I try not to, you know, try to give you guys good info. I had a dream last night that I got my dates wrong again. <laughs> I was like, no. Actually much closer than I thought, but no, we're good. 10 weeks out, 10 weeks out. Honestly, if I was five or six weeks out, uh, it'd be fine. Just diet harder. I feel a soreness in my armpit when I'm doing a bench, not in chest much. Okay, you gotta get your chest out. You gotta get your chest out there. Out there, get your lats behind your triceps. Push. Instead of being all the way out here. Big difference between this and this. Six foot, lift hard three, four days a week. What does strip loss need to be around? Exclamation mark fat loss. Please watch that video real quick. You mu you're already tracking your calories, so you know the basics, but just watch that video real quick. It'll, it'll give you a lot of helpful info. I'd recommend a two to three hundred calorie surplus, but we need to get you to like what I would consider to be a healthy amount of food to eat. That's on, like, my kid eats that much. He's four. Five, eight, weigh 124 and says weight gain. Yeah, eat more. You gotta eat more. And again, when I say this, I don't, I don't mean that tomorrow you have to start gorging yourself to the point where you're sick. I just mean like slowly increase your calories. Chances are you can eat one more piece of bread per day this week, right? So you eat whatever you would normally eat plus one piece of bread. That's adding 100 calories, right? You do that again next week, you add another piece of bread to your daily intake. And then compared to where you were, you've added 200 calories. Do the same thing, at the end of a month, you're at, you've, you've added 400 calories to your daily intake of food, which is not insignificant, right? And if you wanna do more than that, then what you can do is you could add a whole peanut butter sandwich and a glass of milk. To your day. If you can stomach a whole peanut butter sandwich and a glass of milk, that's like 600, 700 more calories depending on how much, more, how much peanut butter you put on that, right? And most people can have a nice tasty toasted peanut butter sandwich with milk, right? It's like a whole 700 calories of good carbohydrates, protein, and fat, right? It doesn't have to be you're gonna go and just stuff yourself, but find a time where you can fit another meal in. Or just add like, you know, a handful of almonds. Just just, do, just add calories slowly and consistently, but if you're not tracking your food, you need to start doing that now. A little extra bicep pump. It's good for me. Okay, team, shoulders and arms. Got some activation, now I gotta go feed them. And just let them keep just tightening up. Ugh. Sharpen it up, hopefully it all goes well. But this workout's all done for now. I will see you guys in hopefully like an hour before it is the games. Play, but maybe, maybe we'll just chill out and play some Baldur's Gate. I kind of do feel like playing some more Diablo. I think uh, Black Desert may be on our menu at some point, but I think Baldur's Gate could be a fun. It's still kind of hype, so 
if we're gonna play it, we can play it now and it'll be kind of like a nice post-workout relaxing game. It'll be good. And then we'll do some Diablo on the treadmill tonight, okay? Appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for the subs. Keep the good vibes rolling and power flowing back here in like an hour, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Peace.